Next job I'm going to do, I've just put this trim tool in here. You notice the one I have here, it's got a bit of a right angle on it, just to assist you with prising. Because just going in with the normal side here, it can be difficult to get off. So I'll just gently remove this one here. There is a retaining piece here to stop it falling away. So let's get that off and then we've got some clips in here behind uh, that will allow us just to take the actual sun visor off. Right, so with the trim off, in here again we have a torque head. It looks like the, yeah, the T30 torque head in here. And then obviously we've got these little clips in here, I believe uh, a long pointy nose pliers is uh, ideal for getting them off so let's give that a go now so this clip here on the left and the one on the right they're obviously with the sun visor and you'll see the center one here this is where the t30 torque was so these clips to get off are a little bit tricky okay you can use a narrow narrow nose pliers however i found it a little bit difficult to do that the best option just gently working it is actually with two flathead screwdrivers and the screwdrivers the ends of them are literally going to the outside edge which to simplify it our outside edge here so it goes in here and I lever it out to the right and the one on the left here goes between the plastic here and the metal inside the clip and again that gets levered out so in, a, in effect we actually spread the two screwdrivers apart while it's up in the housing here you actually have to use the plastic trims just to literally create a little bit of a wedge so when you put the two screwdrivers in you're working together you have the pressure pushing down which will allow and assist the clips to start coming out rather than breaking into the metal sections here so again just take your time and uh, it will come good for you right so you see the plastic trim tool i was speaking about so i have that gently wedged in there and i think it's actually better if you start on this first clip here as opposed to the one near the a post um it seems to be able to give you a little bit more leverage and less likely to break the clip in here i did that on the far side in that i started on the inner one which was advantageous and it didn't cause me any problems with uh with the clips coming out intact and not broken so again you'll see the screwdriver this one is wedged outwards and I have the flat edge going in here and again, and I'm just going to spread them apart. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm using my thumb to lever the two of them outwards. And I'm just going to have to put the phone down now because I'm going to gently apply pressure here while I'm spreading these out. And then I'll be able to get the trim tool in a little bit more and that'll take up that bit of dead space there. And then I can work on the clip to the left. So I'm at the managing to create a larger gap here. And I believe I've released the actual clip using the two screwdrivers here. So I'm just gonna carefully remove this one. Now we've got to work on this side here, and then hopefully we can uh, pop this one off again without breaking the internal clip. So let's give that a go now. Again, just to show you what I'm doing, I'm just stopping the video there for a sec. So I can just uh, put down my screwdrivers. Um, so I have these wedged in. And I have this one wedged in here and I'm very very carefully just hopefully you can see that just prising these gently apart as I create more space along these so I think just bear with it take your time and uh, it will work through like the other side Okay, so I've actually got this one off here. You can actually, you'll hear it actually clipping out of the metal work uh, that actually the plastic clip sits into. You can see that you can actually just barely see there. Sorry with the light. You can actually see the tip of my finger there. 
there's um the silver um pin connection that goes into the metalwork so we just gotta again put our plastic trim tool in here just block up that dead space and then I'm just gonna work this area here so slow but steady right so I've managed to get the clip out and uh, they're both intact which is brilliant so just take your time don't rush it and uh, use the plastic trim tools and you will get it off next section we're going to do is the clip here and the one here so this is basically above the window on the passenger side and we'll have to do the same over on the driver's side so the shelf connection here above the window on the passenger side t30 screw here remove that and then sorry about the light we are then back to these guys here so we have the clips similar to the ones that were on the sun visor so back to the two using the two screwdrivers this uh, trim piece here the smaller of the rectangle pieces this whole piece here will come out once we put the two screwdrivers in or a long nose pliers to remove this so let's give it a go okay using the two screwdrivers again flat screwdrivers I'm uh, where my thumb is there I'm actually prising the two screwdrivers apart and as you can see this block piece is now starting to wiggle out see they're moving there we go okay it's coming out now and there we have it okay again just take your time with it that's what we're trying to do is push the two metal pieces together um, so that screwdrivers are able to um, let's try and show you in here oh the camera okay so just the two clips we're trying to by pushing the both screwdrivers to the outward position we're actually squeezing the clip together where the screwdrivers are inserted if that makes sense so you'll notice i have the clip off here again this was the same as the passenger side pushing the two screw screwdrivers in and uh, allowing the clip to actually pass through this metal securing uh, female connection here t30 torque here as well now the last bit we have before we drop the whole panel down this guy here seems to be popped again there's a safety catch on it and we'll see here we have another t30 take that off i'm going to do the same on this side um so once we have these two out the whole panel should come down just as a precaution i've just left this in a couple of treads here obviously that clip's removed and the same on the other side i might need to get a second pair of hands now you'll actually see in the center here a black clip here and one obviously over to the right that's all now that's actually holding in the actual console okay as you can see it's coming down there now um so i'll just remove the temporary t30s that i put back in over on the ground grab handles either side and then that we should be able to remove the whole lot away so you'll actually see now we have the trim piece removed from the headliner uh, we've got a clip here that needs to be removed and one here and then obviously the underside here where it meets the a post i'm going to see can i do it without removing the a post trims i'll give it a go uh, the same on the other side here I'll just gently prise it down okay you can see here on the inside you just have to be careful we don't cause any damage again up the top here we've got a couple of trim clips as well we got to remove so let's give it a crack right so the headliner is actually down now you can see the original bit of a uh, vw sound deadening on the roof area here and uh trim on the other side you'll notice that i actually didn't have to remove the a post trims 
on either side just very gently unclipped at the back here above the b post you have little plastic trims that slot into these guys just very carefully just maneuver the headliner back out of these and uh, it'll come down nicely for you um so yeah uh i'll go into plan so far now i want to put my thermal liner and insulation in this area here so all in all uh pretty good so far just take your time um don't rush it so i've managed to put the seven mil thermal liner on the main roof section and i have thermal in, liner in behind the dacron here so next step now is to actually put the white recycled plastic bottle dacron on this section here there is enough room to allow the roof lining to go back on uh, i'm using 50 mil so it'll give me plenty of movement and adjustment when i'm repositioning uh, the roof lining back into place so in place now we have the dodo mat the thermal liner and then the outside here which is the uh, recycled plastic bottles uh, which is the dacron um, and that's going across the whole underside of the roof area and again we stuffed it into the corners here with the thermal liner behind and a little bit of dodo matting as well so fully soundproofed fully insulated now next job we got to put everything back so i've just uh, refitted the headliner as you can see we have the foam inside there the dacron so it fits perfectly there's no issues whatsoever putting it back with the foam okay we've got a lovely finish there again just take your time now we've got to start refitting the upper shelf assembly job is now all fully completed uh, trims went back on fine uh, shelf went down grand no problem at all just take your time and uh, would I change anything again uh, with how I did the procedure absolutely not um, all in all give yourself a couple of hours if I was to do it again I'd say I'd have it done in about a half an hour uh, stripped down and then just another half an hour maybe then just doing the um, thermal liner and the dacron and refitting so uh, it's one of them things when you get used to doing something it's nice and handy so uh, best of luck if you enjoyed the video um, give us a thumbs up or you might consider subscribing thanks